Welcome everyone, in this video we will be looking at some of the viewing options in SOLIDWORKS. Here's a copy of what the menu looks like. Now, the first thing we're going to be seeing is some of the zoom options available, and this refers to typically things like this, uh, which are the various zoom options, and we'll talk about those. There's also the pan options, which is not shown in this menu, but I'll show you how to get to that. Preset views, which you have seen probably or used, which refers to these two buttons over here. The window panes, which is part of the preset view option. Uh, the section view, which is this icon over here. And finally, the visibility tool, which is the last icon over here. These remaining icons, we're not going to have a look at in this tutorial. We'll talk about those a little bit later. So, in order to show how some of these navigation buttons work, we're going to use an example using an existing part, in this case, this bottle over here. So, the first thing to know is that if you click the center button, the mouse wheel, if you hold it down, you can rotate the object. So, as long as you hold it down, the object will rotate. Mm -hmm. If you scroll the wheel, the zoom becomes active, and you can zoom in and out of the part. If you zoom too close and you want to go back, you can always click that and it takes you back. The next button over here is a it's pretty much it's much self-explanatory. You can click it, select an area, and it'll zoom to that. So it's active until you deactivate it. And if you want to if you want to go back, you can always go back to zoom to fit. There's also uh, if you click on the icon and then you click on the right, a new menu appears. And these are all the different options that you have. So you can actually change uh, the different modify menus. So in this case, we're going to pan by going like this. And if you hit escape, then you go, your cursor goes back to normal. Pan is also available if you hold the mouse wheel and you press control. And then there's a pan option. If you don't have the, any icon selected, and if you click on the right, the menu is not there, but it's you can actually go into the zoom pan rotate to find it. And there it is. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at is at some of the preset views. So you may have been playing around with some of these before, but Here's the option. You can actually, if you click on the little tab on the right corner, it unpins the menu, and so it's easy to see there. Now, these are all the different preset views that you have. So there's front, there's back, depending on what you click. You can also use the view selector. If I click that on, this cube appears, and as soon as I put my cursor on top, it begins to uh, cycle through the different options. So any time a window becomes activated, if I click on it, that's the view that I get. So just to show you again, if I go here and I want to see the top view, this little panel, now it's the top. If you, you, you may have noticed that if you click on the right button and move the cursor really quick, something happens. So let's try it. So I'm going to click, and did you see it for a second? It just appeared out of nowhere. So I'm going to try it on the, going the other way. So by clicking and sliding, it kind of rotates the image to the next available view. So that's another way of doing it. The normal view works by selecting an object and then clicking on normal 2. So for I click here, the normal is not active because it only works on flat areas. So you have to select something that's flat, like this, and then my normal button will work. And it's just like, it makes it so that the object appears to be straight, uh, straight on. So this is the orientation button, and this is the display button. The display if you just cycle through it, you can see more or less what it's doing. It just shows you different ways of showing the object. 
here it's the object is uh, without hidden lines and here it's with hidden lines the way that this button works is by clicking on different items to hide and unhide them now the object still there it's just not being seen so this way I can clean up my object so it only shows things that I need to show the last item we're going to look at is the section function section view so the way this works is by you can select the plane uh, of view and if I drag this plane up or down it's gonna hide or show my object depending on where I go so this way I can actually just see what's inside an object without changing it and it's a useful tool to have later on as you want to see what the drawings your uh, your objects look like